people were racing. You could really feel the tension. The race is go, go, go! Well, you're not going to set the world alight 20th place, are you?
Fisichella is not going to take it lying down. He's starting to push on now. The gap has just been closed by another six tenths of a second. That's an awesome manoeuvre from Fisichella. That's a brilliant piece of overtaking which leaves truly in his dust. A third of the way into this Grand Prix, Alonso leads. Raikkonen is second, Button is third. He was in the lead earlier, Montoya fourth. Felipe Massa is fifth, Montero is sixth, Michael Schumacher is seventh. He's moved up from eighth, Nico Rosberg eighth. The battle for the lead is hotting up. Alonso must be due to pit within the next few laps. Raikkonen is in with a shout here. I think he'll pit first. If so, he's going to need a fast stop. His mechanics may short fill him to keep his weight down. We're on lap six. Alonso leads. Raikkonen is second. Button is third. I can see the McLaren mechanics out in the pit lane. Alonso is fastest through the first sector. He's extended the gap by another tenth of a second. Alonso continues to pull away. He's extended the gap by another tenth of a second. You just beat your best time through sector two. Raikkonen takes to the pit lane. You're fourth at the moment, good job. Let's see who the top eight drivers are. Alonso leads. Montoya is second. He's up from fourth. Massa is third, Montero is fourth, Barrichello fifth, that's a jump of four places, Raikkonen completes his stop. You're gonna come in next lap, the scheduled pit stop is next lap. Improved by 0.2 seconds through sector one. a promising middle sector for Alonso. The gap is now around 30 seconds. P2, P2. At the halfway mark, Alonso leads. We can see the mechanics preparing from our commentary box window. Incident sector two, yellow flags are out, no overtaking. Alonso continues to pull away. He is really pushing hard. That's added another four tenths of a second to his lead. OK, we're ready for you. Come in at the end of this lap. Alonso is fastest through the first sector. The gap, I say gap, more like go, has grown to a massive 30 seconds now. Alonso picks. It's going to have to be a stunning end to the lap for Raikkonen for he's to have any chance of challenging him. A decent effort from Alonso's pit crew should be enough to keep him ahead. Alonso leaves the pit. And 
and he's ahead. Alonso maintains track position. There was an opportunity for Raikkonen there, but he wasn't up to the challenge this time. This is lap nine. Alonso leads. Raikkonen is second. Button is third. Montoya fourth. Felipe Massa is fifth. He's up from seven. Montero is sixth. He slid down from second. Barrichello is second. And Schumacher is eighth. That's a gain of one place. is in eight. this Grand Prix play out, but Barrichello has made up significant ground. He might just catch him. It looks like Schumacher may be passed soon. The gap now is 0.7 seconds. As we head into the final few laps, Alonso leads. Michael Schumacher finishes the lap in fine style. 
The gap has grown to nine tenths of a second now. Sector. That's the fastest time you've set so far. Barrichello was able to reduce the gap that time. The gap now is 0 0.7 seconds. Let's take a quick look at the current leaders. Alonso leads. Raikkonen is second. Button is third. Montoya fourth. Michael Schumacher knows he has to respond, and he's doing just that. The gap has grown to 9 tenths of a second now. Your car condition indicator. The tyres are showing signs of wear and this will affect grip. Michael Schumacher is building up a healthy advantage. He's extended the gap by another tenth of a second. Race leader Alonso has started his final lap. Barrichello was able to reduce the gap that time. The gap has now fallen below a second. As the race comes to a close and we enter the final lap of this Grand Prix, Barrichello has almost caught the next car. There is still the chance of some action here today. Michael Schumacher knows he has to respond and he's doing just that. He looks as if he's trying to prove a point. That's extended the gap by four tenths. Michael Schumacher is building up a healthy advantage. The size of the gap is now 1.4 seconds. Well, it has to be said that the gap was quickly evaporating and Barrichello is now through. Schumacher won't like that, but I don't think he has the speed to do anything about it. There it is, Alonso crosses the line in first place and earns a well-deserved 10 points. Raikkonen will cross the line second. forgiven for the problems of 2005. Indianapolis has hosted a fantastic race here today. It's been a credit to everyone involved. The fans attending the circuit today have been treated to a great race and they look very happy. A far cry from the scenes of last year. But this is exactly what F1 racing in America needed. Two weeks from now, we'll be back in familiar F1 territory at Manicourt in the heart of rural France. I hope you'll join us then. Goodbye for now.